Mazes and Math by Damon Dykes The maze is easily one of the most ubiquitous types of puzzles as a form of entertainment and mental stimulation, and has been a part of our human history for at least 4,000 years. Mazes and labyrinths have been constructed as monuments, sacred symbols, and garden ornamentation by earlier civilizations, and are still used today by our culture in numerous ways. They can be simple square grids or take just about any shape the designer wishes and vary in complexity to provide different levels of challenge. Countless applications can be seen in our modern world. They can be seen in children's activity books, on the back of cereal boxes, and on restaurant placemats. During the fall harvest season, cornfields are often used as mazes as well. Family and adult puzzle rooms are often laid out in maze or labyrinth-like patterns. Botanical gardens and aristocratic estates are locations for beautiful hedge mazes. They have been the setting for films like Labyrinth, The Shining, and The Maze Runner. They are also incorporated in the level design for countless video games. Indeed, mazes are everywhere in our culture. And mathematics plays a major role in designing many of them. The earliest known maze-like structure is believed to be the Egyptian labyrinth, which is supposedly located in Hawara. This massive structure, mentioned in the second book of the Greek writer Herodotus, is a massive underground complex of 12 palaces with thousands of chambers and numerous hallways. Many of us are familiar with the mythological labyrinth of King Minos, the home of the Minotaur, which is theorized to actually be the Minoan Palace of Knossos, located on the island of Crete. Its multitude of chambers and confusing hallways have led historians to suggest that this structure may be the basis for that myth. It is also suggested that the labyrinth myth may have been symbolic of the rite of passage for young Cretans as they reach physical and social adulthood. Churches and cathedrals of medieval Europe display intricate labyrinths in their floors, which were used as a devotional activity for parishioners who could not make the pilgrimage to Jerusalem. As a form of ornamentation and entertainment, aristocratic estates of Europe possess elaborate hedge mazes, a topiary practice that goes back as far as the Romans. Maze design can be as simple as filling a given shape with a series of winding paths, which lead from one external entrance to a goal, either to another external exit, or sometimes leading to an interior point, often in the center. However, mathematics are usually used to plan out the roots and dead ends found in such puzzles. Maze design is essentially a form of graph theory, in which spanning trees are constructed within a grid, although the grid does not have to be a simple square or rectangle. Software is typically the method of choice for generating complex mazes, which employ randomized algorithms to remove a great deal of the trial and error involved in planning them. The randomized Kruskal's algorithm, or the randomized Prim's algorithm, are two such methods. These algorithms create the paths via spanning trees on a graph with weighted edges. There is also the depth-first algorithm, as well as the recursive backtracker, which are also popular for maze generation. A somewhat simpler method, called recursive division, involves starting with an open chamber, dividing it with two walls, creating random openings, then dividing each subchamber with subsequent repetition of these steps until the overall chamber is filled with the desired paths. With an understanding of these algorithms, just about anyone can design a challenging puzzle. When observing the complex structures that were designed and constructed by ancient civilizations, one can see that serious planning went into them. Mathematics have and continue to play a major role in our lives in so many aspects, and the mazes and labyrinths created throughout time are impressive pieces of aesthetic evidence to that fact in both our past and present. These various implementations have kept the maze in our minds all the way through to its use in pop culture as a way to not only challenge us, but also to represent the winding and often confusing paths of our everyday lives. I almost made it all the way through the video without saying this, but I guess I just can't resist. Mazes are, in fact, amazing. Thank you for watching.